What's up everybody, Thomas Kennedy here. I have another airbrush video for you. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and give me the thumbs up. It'll help my channel grow faster. I greatly appreciate it. So in today's video, I will be airbrushing a peace sign on a t-shirt. This is a very easy, simple t-shirt design. You could bust these out very quick and easy at an airbrush booth if that's what you're doing. Or if you just want to paint some of these at home and sell them online, you could do that too. Either way, this would be a good money maker for you. You can easily just add a name to it once you're done with this part of it. Um, but basically, all I'm going to do is cut this out with some scissors and then I'll show you the next step. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm back here in the airbrush room now. And as you can see, I have the stencil cut out and I have it stuck to the shirt already so it's ready to go. I'm just going to paint right over top of this and when I'm done, peel the stencil off and then we'll be left with the negative space of the peace sign. It's going to be some cool tie-dye colors. So it'll be a cool design and then like I said, once that's painted, if you're doing it custom order for somebody, you can easily add a name or other words or whatever you want to add. So, uh, and if you have any questions about uh, anything I'm using or any, of, any part of the process, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. But uh, as far as sticking the stencil to the shirt, what you want to use is spray adhesive. If you're not sure what that is, just go to a craft store like Hobby Lobby or maybe even Walmart. It usually comes in just an aerosol can and it'll say spray glue or spray tack, spray adhesive, something like that. 3M has a good one, but any brand will really work. Uh, that's basically all you need. So you just get your stencil cut out, lay it down, face down, and then just put a light mist of spray adhesive onto the back of that, and then just place it on the shirt, and then it's ready to paint. So let's get started. it up as you can see it did not take very long real time this might have taken five minutes for the actual painting part of it once the stencils already made five minutes you got a shirt done and you can add whatever name you want other words and you can even mix the colors up if you want you don't have to use these same colors you could just do a monochromatic all blue all purple red and orange whatever you want to do get creative with it this is just what I chose just off the top of my head these are the colors I used the fluorescent green these are all Createx by the way bright yellow fluorescent violet fluorescent orange and Caribbean blue and then of course opaque black for the name so grab you a cheap t-shirt and grab you a 
piece of copy paper, make you a stencil, practice with it. If you are planning on doing this for an airbrush booth setup to where you're going to be busting out a lot of these, I recommend making the stencil out of a thicker material such as the felt material that's actually used to make stencils or a plastic stencil material or even poster board would work way better than copy paper if you're going to do several of these. But if you're just going to do one or two, copy paper will work fine. These make awesome gifts and you can post them online on an online store or whatever and sell them and make a really good profit margin on these. So grab some stuff, get some practice in. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer any of those. And check out the links in the description section. There will be links for all the products I use and links to some of my online stores. If you want to check out some of my products I have on there, I have a lot of cool t-shirts for sale related to a lot of different categories. So check that out. Follow me on Instagram at Thomas Kennedy Art. And until next time, peace out.